Hello, everyone. How are you? Are you enjoying Genishan? Okay, great. I'm really enjoying Genishan as you do. Please, I want to invite you to for a big applause for Genishan because this is a really good event, by the way. <laughs> Welcome to this session about open source global development or SDG. First, let's watch the video. Okay, nice. Do you enjoy the video? No? Why? It's not, not you know, it doesn't depend on me, so we do this. Okay, let's move forward. Well, open source event development. It's about how open source can help individual or organization to get better and better. When we talk about open source, it's not, uh, it's not only about having the source code publicly accessible. We have two uh, criteria. First, having the code source being public, also free distributions, and being able to change the source code easily. And talking about open source, we have some challenges. Now, let's move on. OK. Contributing to open source have so many challenges in the endless way. So I focus here on two main challenges. First challenge is Maha Squires and this is shut down his libraries, ColorJS and FreeColorJS. Why? I'm a developer. You are developers. I cannot delete my work. I cannot. Let's move on. Like Ben, change the license of Aga from open source Apache 2.0 to source available license. Why? That's the question. Any idea? The answer is simple. Lack of support from companies using these projects. Contributing to open source is not that easy. And developers providing these softwares need support, financially speaking, but also in terms of maintenance. This is why Bruce Perens, co-founder of Open Source Initiative, emphasized on the fact that big companies must rethink the way they work with developers, individuals like Mahak and companies like, like Ben, in order to build a sustainable open source property to everyone. I just want to repeat that. In order to build a sustainable open source profiting to everyone. So, there are challenges in the world of open source, but open source has a big, big, big potential. Okay? And we see how we can hold with open source. Okay. Talking about growth in open source, we see that so many companies. So many organizations are using open source to hold, are using open source to harm their businesses. Okay? I will show a, I will show a, I will show a list of some companies or organizations open sourcing on GitHub. Maybe you are surprised when you see TikTok. It's not only about phone, but TikTok is also on, on GitHub, Snapchat, LinkedIn, and Nvidia, and so on. These companies show they are trying to gain some profit, but they understand the importance of open source on their business. Now that you have an idea about how companies are using open source to grow, the question, maybe you have a question. What about me? Let's say this in a moment.
My whole life was a roller coaster. So many ups, so many downs. Above all, 2019, I was jobless. I got no job. It was really difficult. Then I read an article from an Uber's engineer, 10 developers, don't only send your resumes, but also contribute to open source. And this is why, and this is why in 2018, I made my first pull request at Societation in Hack, a project called Hack Unit Maven Plugin. Let me show you this in one second. Okay, let's, change. let's take this example. This project, I, I do see this way. Okay, this project at Stage General is, is a, how can I say that? It's a, argument, it's a project based on GeoNet, but focused on software architecture. All right? So, I made my first pull request at Stage General in 2019, and it got matched. I was so happy. Then it motivated me to continue to contribute again and again. Okay. Let's zoom back. It was really fun to contribute to a project used by other devs. Seeing my name amongst other contributors motivated me to keep going. Then I continued to contribute again and again. What about all my open source contributions? In 2019, I started contributing to, to Société Générale and Open Society Cameroon. Then in 2020, Google, Microsoft, Apple. 2023, Mercedes-Benz, Jakarta, E, Geonet. And this year, I started contributing to Geonet Pioneer. At the end of this session, we have a lab, and I will come back to all these contributions, or maybe the main important contributions at Geonet, Gene Pionet, Jakarta, and Mercedes. I was recommended by Vincent Fuss, Leave Dev Association Hall, because I work on this, uh, I work on this, I work on this open source project, and they wanted me to come to work in Portugal. If today I'm in front of you, it's thanks to open source. That's a really great achievement, by the way. Thank you very much. So, as you can see, contributing in open source gives me nothing in terms of financially speaking. But I have the opportunity to improve my skills, and step by step, I have this job opportunity to come to Portugal. All right? And also, thanks to open source, I'm starting my speaking journey this year. I'm speaking in front of you today. And I do the same at Lisbon, at Lisbon in April. Last year, I attended the nation, and I promised to myself to be a speaker. And this is why today I'm in front of you. I started, I started open source in order to show my skills to get a job. Then I got motivated about contributing to give back to the community. I used to say to my friends that. It's good to use libraries, but what about contributing back? What about being also a producer? So this is my main motivation to contribute to open source. And to conclude, I can say that my life is a testament to how open source triggers career growth. Now, let's have a quick lab. How can you contribute to open source? How is it possible? What are the tips that you can apply to contribute to open source? First, it's obvious. You have to get a GitHub account. GitHub is not the only platform to contribute. You have GitLab, you have Bitbucket, but it looks like GitHub is second to none. So that's it. Also, you have to follow organizations and individuals in order to know which projects might be interesting for you to contribute. Don't forget to browse projects. Let, let me show some examples. Uh, 
Okay. This is an individual profile on GitHub. So if you want to follow an individual, an individual on GitHub, just go on your left and click on the follow button. What about organizations? For the organization is the why button. That's it. And as you can see, there's so many projects in front of you. So just browse them. You can filter them by type, language, or can solve this list. Okay. Also, it's very important to pay attention to the Huelme because the Huelme file will give you all the instructions that are important for you to get started. Okay, and again, if you find a project that's important to you, don't hesitate to activate notifications to get updates about the projects. And some projects have meetings. So it's easy to attend to meetings in order to contribute back to the project. Let's illustrate these points. OK. Let's select the project Jakarta Data. OK. As you can see on this Redmi, I have some information that will help us and to get started, introductions, some testing guidelines, code of conduct, and some building from source. And also, as you can see here on Jacket Data, I provide a meetings. From time to time, I usually attend these meetings in order to know more about this project and contribute back to the project. All right. And also, if you want, if you want to know more about the project, not easy to click on this button. Then you will say you have. So many ways to be notified, participate in the mentions, all activity, ignore on, on custom. Let me show you another project about thing Mercedes Benz, all right? Okay. And Mercedes Benz, I was able to start contributing on this project because I activate full notifications. Then I got started by contributing, but just Updating documentation. Let me show you this. Oh, where is my work? It's yours. Oh, wow. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay, I understand. It's not about contributing randomly in, in projects. I don't know if I don't know if you remember um, at my contributions page, I showed that I I contributing to Open Society Cameroon. Most of the time I'm working at Open Society Cameroon to build a project called the Generator. But in order to not be annoyed, I'm trying to do other contributions. But you are free to contribute to Spring and so on. But I'm using open source to continue to grow to improve my skills. So if it looks like Spring is a good project for me to contribute, why not? As you can see, I'm contributing to Jakarta and doing it. I'm using doing it on a daily basis. So that's it. So you turn off with something in the car and you can do it. You? I'm coming back, please, in Jakarta. Don't you show something here on Mercedes Benz about notifications? It's loading. Okay. Okay. I was talking about notifications and I got 
I was about to contribute to this issue because I got, I got a notification about the fact that uh, this issue is available, and this is the pull request I made here on this project, all right? So don't forget, if you find a project that looks good to you, don't forget to activate notifications. Okay, let's move on. I will come back to your point. Okay. Okay, next step, search issues, especially the ones labeled good first issue, and sometimes not easy to open issues. Okay, now let's focus on Jakarta data. Okay, uh, Jakarta data, let me filter by uh, good first issues. Okay, yes, because, uh, okay, let me show something. Let's see, good remarks. Uh, okay, as you can see, it depends on project. Some projects will add this label on, on so many issues, but a lot of projects will not do it. Okay, let's, come, let's jump back to Jakarta. Okay. Okay, this was the issue I was working on at Jakarta, and the goal was simple. How can we simplify unit test display names? How we are talking about geo unit display names? Do you know uh, the annotation display name generator in, in geo unit, unit 5? Yes, so the goal was to extend on the class, oh, let me show the progress is better. I understand what I mean about it. Five channels. Okay. So the goal was to extend the class display generator. Uh, excuse me, the, the static class display generator standard in order to add annotation to the class. Then. When I receive the pattern, uh, something like should, should calculate uh, this method, it will automatically generate the, it will automat it will automatically generate the display name at the end. Unfortunately, this feature was out of the scope on, on Jakarta. Then I had the idea to suggest to do it. Okay. Then I had the idea to to make a suggestion to do in it to apply this feature. Okay. And to make you understand, I wanted to apply this feature at Jakarta, let's say at, on a small scope. But why only build this feature for Jakarta developers? But it would be better to build these features for all developers around the world at doing it levels. Now this now this issue it's in Spain, 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 now I, am more, now I am more focused on contributing to doing it because even if I'm a Spring developer, from time to time, I spend more time using Jenny library. Is it okay? 
All right. Also, let me show this up. I don't know. It will depend on the reviewers. It's in half. It's in half mode. So I've seen working on it. So I'm waiting for some recommendation from there. Okay. Also, in order to contribute, in order to find some information about a project, not hesitate to open issues. I will show an illustration about, let's say, a Jack, uh, Mercedes Benz project. All right, close issues. Okay. I wanted to contribute to this project, then I have some issues. I decided to open this issue to ask help and to maintain us in order to get started easily. So when you have a project and you don't know how to get started, don't hesitate to, and to, point, and to open issues. Okay, now we have a quick example about how for a clinical repository, create a branch and open your pull request. Okay, to discuss this point, I will come back to this project, Oscar Moron, JG Negator. Okay, let's work on these issues. Migrate to Spring Boot Way. This issue is a really, really big issue, but for this session, I will just update and pump example of the parent class, or the parent module, excuse me. Okay, let's do it. Is the idea of issue. I will just create a branch on my fork. I've already forked the project. But if you want to know, you, you can just click here. But I'm not doing it again because I already have my fork project. All right, let's read the branch. Two five zero. Okay, all I have to do now is to switch the branch. Does it? Okay. As I said, there is no big changes. Migrating from Spring Boot 2007 to is a big, big task. But for this session, I will just change the version of Spring Boot Parent, Spring Boot Starter Parent, from 2.7.3 to 3.1. The two. Then I will push. All right.
Let's check GitHub. Okay, as you can see, I'm notified that I, I just put on this branch, then I will compare and pull request. Uh, no big deal. Okay, in GitHub, when you are opening a pull request, if you want to link an issue to a pull request, there are some keywords like closes, like and fixes. For, so for the description, I will just say closes the issue. Two is that uh, two five zero? No, uh, yes. migrate to Spring Boot with the two. All right, create pull request. Before I create the pull request, I just want to show something. If I come back to the issue sections of this project, scan. If I zoom back on issue sections, uh, what is this issue? All right. Okay. As you can see, there's no there's no pull request attached to the issues. But after creating my pull request, it will change. Why do we put this thing? Okay, all right. Where to put a request? After creating my pull request, which you can see, you can see here the GitHub actions are running. Do you know GitHub actions? Any idea about it? All right. Okay. So it doesn't matter, but I don't think that I will succeed because. I did not check um, correct. So as you can see here, you just see how we can make a pull request and create it on, on a project. Let's move on. But do you have any questions, any comments before I continue? All right. I just uh, I just created an article about this uh, about OSDD Open Source Lumen. So if you want, you can scan the QR code and get the article. So what I was trying to show you on this presentation is about how you can use Open Source to grow and to come back on the on this remark. Well. The goal was not to, the goal is not to contribute randomly to project, but to use open source and to improve your skills. It's about that. So there are challenges in open source, there are challenges in open source industry, like we see with Marac, we see with Lightburn, but on the other side, it's possible to go through open source. Okay. 
So about it, all I can say is that uh, we should start contributing today. It's not that easy, but try to contribute on a project that looks good for you. Maybe Spring, maybe, I don't know, other projects on Java, on Python, and so on. And we can find this, we can find a presentation on speaker deck. I think that's it. Okay, that's it on my side. Do you have any questions, any comments? Okay. Do you have any questions? I think we can stop here. So. Okay. Thank you for attending. So.